As we mentioned, those pipe bombs were sent to political targets across the country. And with the midterm elections less than two weeks away, political tension is at an all-time high. CBS4's Laura Podesta is outside the CNN offices in New York where one of the devices was sent. Good morning, Lauren and Maribel. The Time Warner Center right behind me here was evacuated yesterday shortly after a pipe bomb sent to former CIA director John Brennan was discovered. Now, at a rally last night, President Trump condemned political violence, but he also put part of the blame on the media. Pipe bombs sent to several prominent Democrats and critics of President Trump this week have triggered an intense investigation to find those responsible. We've seen this before, and we've seen worse, and we will not be intimidated, and we will bring these perpetrators to justice. None of the bombs went off. All were intercepted before reaching their targets, which include former President Obama, Congresswoman Maxine Waters and Hillary Clinton. We are fine, thanks to the men and women of the Secret Service. We are outside safely. All of our CNN colleagues that we know of are outside. One bomb addressed to former CIA director John Brennan here at CNN's Manhattan offices forced the evacuation of the Time Warner Center. Brennan later criticized the president for his political attacks. A lot of this rhetoric really is counterproductive. It is un-American. President Trump has used many of the intended targets as punching bags during his campaign rallies. Maxine Waters, a very low IQ individual. Last night, he presented a more subdued version of his speech in Wisconsin. And by the way, do you see how nice I'm behaving tonight? This is like, have you ever seen this? The president promised to hold the perpetrators accountable. Any acts or threats of political violence are an attack on our democracy itself. He did scold the media, saying it needs to set a more civil tone. Despite a more civilized tone last night, President Trump has regularly stoked animosity toward the media, calling CNN the enemy of the people. Reporting in New York, Laura Podesta, CBS4, this morning.